The NHS plan to close A&E departments at Charing Cross, Central Middlesex and Ealing hospitals, which will no longer be able to treat life-threatening conditions such as heart attacks and internal bleedings. These changes may affect 2 million West London residents, some of whom started a large campaign to save the NAEs. Previously, we spoke to Andy Slaughter, who answered your questions on the Save the Hospitals campaign. Eight out of the nine hospitals already exceed their A&E waiting times, and that's before you close down half of the A&Es. You're going to save a lot of money in the short term, but in the long term, you know, people aren't just going to get the, the treatment they need, and it's going to store up more problems. On the 27th April 2013, the protesters marched to kneeling to fight against the closure of the hospital units. Today, we're questioning Virendra Sharma, MP for Ealing Southall, to find out more about the campaign's progress. It was great success, as we can see that there were thousands of people who marched on the streets of Ealing and Southall and other places, uh, meeting at Ealing Common and addressed by all political leaders and the community activists. This also brought all the communities, all the political leaders, all the political parties itself. Uh, above all, it also brought the support from the doctors, nurses, and the consultants from the local uh, hospitals. So it brought the unity within the community, also success uh, in the march, brought the changes in the minds of the minister as well. It's very important and it's very crucial as well. First, because it is affecting those people. They need to respond to that, that it's not acceptable. Uh, if they don't, nobody will listen to that. In the democratic system, the public and the people need to get involved in all the protests and the support given to the others as well. Uh, it has actually brought uh, the minister uh, to agree to uh, refer it for the review and it has stopped the changes in the immediate future. It has given us the time to organize in the future as well. So it is, means that the change in the minds of the minister and that will also help us uh, in the future as well. Uh, I'm quite confident as there are the change uh, in the minds of the uh, minister. Uh, there are a lot of people protesting. It's a democratic system as well, where the political parties and the politically uh, elected members need to consider seriously the opposition from the public. I'm quite confident, public is quite confident, and I'm sure that we will achieve our goals in the future. We are waiting for the outcome of the review uh, and uh, hopefully uh, we don't need to have any protest. Even if we have to have that one with a victory uh, uh, procession rather than uh, uh, opposition to anything. Mm -hmm.